だけどね。Hi there, guys, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool.、Um, how can I call it? It's like, you know, you go、um, out town and you see this、um, neon on the side of the walls,、um, on top of、um, these things, you know what I mean? This type of neon,、um, like on the wall. I don't, know, I don't really know how to describe it. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to make this, and this is a real cool tutorial. Um, sponsored by purecreativedesigns.tk, as you can see here, this is my website, so y e a h check it out. And yeah, so first off, we're just going to go into Photoshop, and you're going to need to download the,、um, oh, we're gonna call it the image below of this.、Um, so yeah,、uh, once you've got that, you're going to go to File, New, and you're just going to, well, sorry, not New, you're going to go to File, Open, and I'm just going to find where I've got this on my desktop. Um, there it is. It's called the something brick wall. And it'll look something like this. So just use this for your own personal use, thanks, guys. So that'll be helpful. And first off, we want to get this to look like it's at night because we don't want it too bright.、Um, it's up to you. But the best to do this is Control U or you to bring up hue saturation. Or you can go to Image,、um, Image Adjustments, and then Hue Saturation. So, once you've got this, we're just going to take the lightness down quite a bit.、Um, oh, what did I use? I think I used about minus 70. Yeah, so about minus 70 should do it, guys. And then I sort of, as you can see, there was sort of、um, like light coming into this.、Uh, see, there's a little dot bits of light.、Um, best way to get this in is filter, making sure your background colors are like mine. New layer, and going to filter. Render and fibers doesn't work, but cloud is good to use for now. And then、um, the best is not to color, but to color dodge. And as you can see, it brings up all like it's you know, like outside, so you can just move it around where you want to put this. You can just you can make it bigger or smaller. And I just don't want it around the edges here, so I'm just gonna get the brush tool,、uh, rubber tool, sorry, and I'm just gonna make it.、Um, Brush size around 60, it doesn't really matter. It's going to make the opacity 100, and I'm just going to go around the edges, just getting rid of parts of the light that I don't want showing.、Um, and I don't want any of this, I just want where the text is going to be.、Uh, like this. And then I want to find out the size of my, what is it, this,、uh, my desktop for a wallpaper. So, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go to、um, screen resolution. And it'll load up and then it'll tell me my width. And mine's 1440 times 900. Yeah. So, 1440 times 900. So, in Photoshop, I'm going to go to new, file new. So, 1440 by 900. And click OK. Alright, I'm just going to delete the lot layer. So, this is my, this is exactly my screen. So, with this, I'm just going to、um, take this, the mask tool, edit, copy merged, make sure it's merged, and I'm just going to paste it in. Alright. So, once it's in, I'm just going to choose control, hit Control T, make this bigger, make sure you use that, Control T, just remember that. Alright. Make sure you apply the image. Alright, so that looks good now. And now you're just going to go and,、um, What you're going to do, you're going to bring in the text. So I'm just going to delete this、um, one that's open here. And I'm just going to go to the text tool, and the font I'm using is Champagne and l e m i s h e r s or something like that.、Um, there'll be a link below this description, but you can download that. I'm going to make sure my color is white, and I'm just going to add maybe just neon text. I'm not going to have it that big, just not that big. So that'll just fit, be alright for now. About that big. You can maybe add someone else underneath, but that'll, that'll do me for now.、Um, so, on the neon text, I'm going to go to effects, and I'm going to go to blending options, and I'm going to choose outer glow. Bring up this lovely outer glow now. And on the outer glow, if you make sure you're actually on it, on the colour, I'm going to be using a, a blue, a light blue. So, if you want to use the same as what I'm using, I'm using 0009. CFF, so I'd advise you to type that in down here. And I'm going to make the size around 
and the spread I think it's going to be around around about 10 maybe a bit more on the size maybe just bring it up a bit more so that's looking that's looking nice and I added a drop shadow um, and I didn't didn't make this that big I made it made it two on distance and two on spread um, you can add a bevel um, I'm just gonna have a really small one of them so I'm just gonna make this pretty small um, I'm just gonna I'll make it too big so I'm just gonna bring it up here a bit okay and yeah I'm just gonna make the size about a two so I don't I don't want it too much just want a little bit and that should be alright for now you can add whatever you want, you can add a stroke maybe um, and stroke, I might want to make it like a like a one so yeah maybe add something like that, I'm just going to do that one oh damn, um, edit forward um, I'm just going to go with effects, I'm just going to get rid of this stroke, I don't really want that like so so that's going to do me um, so yeah that's your wallpaper you can add whatever you want it's a pretty simple tutorial you can maybe just add some um, like I'm gonna say some like brackets and the way you do that um, I just saw someone do this and I thought it was pretty nice so nice way to add them is by just creating a new layer and then making them be a brush tool so I'm just gonna get the brush tool wherever I um, there and I'm just gonna make this site pretty small about a 10 and I'm just gonna zoom in quite a bit so and um, I'm just going to show you two two little examples and you can just go around by just going over this but making sure your colors black like so just making this wall bracket like that and then you just want to drag it below of the layer like so and as you can see it just blends in behind it and definitely go to effects and bevel and emboss always add one of them just gives it a bit more like it's attached to the wall make sure you bring it down to about three and now you have some brackets so that's a really cool thing to add to it um, so that's the tutorial guys I hope you like this one um, I certainly did as you can see um, if I just zoom out a bit you can see what the text actually looks like it's really nice there um, so that's the best way to look at it, it'll look a lot better once you save the image but that's it guys, I hope you subscribe um, check out my website and yeah, thanks, see ya